Now, obviously, uh, heel hooks can be very dangerous. They're banned from a lot of competitions. A lot of schools do not allow them until higher level. Um, I'm of the personal belief that learning all moves uh, and being careful with your training partners is super important. I don't want to be put in a position where I don't know a move and my partner does. So <clears throat> I think that you should uh, explore these options as you get better and uh, just increase your toolbox that way. So again, I should note that the heel hook is a, uh, a dangerous move. It can tear the knee very easily, so you've got to be very careful with your partner. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have side control on Matt, and typically, Jiu-Jitsu doctrine states that he should be arching into me, turning in, creating space. The moment I feel his knee come across my belly, I'm going to be propping up my knee, clamping down. I'm going to keep this leg nice and secure here. So this is an inside heel hook because I'm going to be hooking this heel here. Now, as I do that, my other knee pops up. I'm going to be falling backwards, clamping my knees together. As I do that, I'm leaning back and I hook his heel. My other hand will come over top. I can gable grip. I can grab onto his calf. I typically like gable gripping, squeezing my knees, leaning back, and rotating in this direction. Now, I need to be leaning back to apply this pressure. I want to keep Matt at bay. If he starts moving, I can use my legs to uh, keep him on his back. But it's very important that I have this position, sort of leaning and hooking that way. So one, I feel this, his knee comes across my belly, my leg comes up, my other leg hooking, I fall back, I squeeze my legs together, hook, I always think of the thumb up and rotating over. So when you do this, I want you to be lifting and rotating like that. It's very important to keep your knees tight. If you don't, and I just do this, Matt can escape. So that's why I need to keep this like that, I'm coming over to the heel bone. One, two, three, fall back, squeeze, and watch my body as I rotate. Okay. Now, Matt can defend this, he's, uh, he's very good, he's, he's awesome at leg locks too. So if I get lazy and I do this and I'm up top, notice how Matt is just wrapped around my arm, he's preventing me from leaning back. So I'm trying to go for the heel hook and he's holding here. Now what he'll do with his other leg is he's going to untie the heel hook. He pushes my bicep, he slips the leg out, and now I don't have the heel hook anymore. And now we're, now we're in a fight in this position. Okay? So this one more time, I'm going to go for the heel hook, and he's also going to defend. So, come up, one, two, I go back, I'm going for it. Notice how he sat up immediately. I'm trying to lean back, but he's keeping me forward with his figure four around my arms. Now, he takes his free leg, pushes on my hands or biceps, breaks the lock, and now he has this, and now we have to work a different position. So, I highly suggest that uh, you start exploring leg locks and uh, looking at them, be very careful. Uh, that's my caveat there. And uh, this is an inside heel hook from the top position when your partner's turning into you. My name's Ari, this is Kaiser, and uh, we'll see you next on Session Flow. Thank you, my name.